Good morning, and welcome to this, our celebration for the Feast of Easter. I'm Monsignor Michael Champ, pastor and bishop of the Old Catholic Church of Antioch in Tucson. Welcome. Let's begin with our opening hymn, The Strife is O'er, the Battle Done. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The strife is o'er, the battle done. The triumph of the Lord is won. Oh, let the song of praise be sung. Alleluia. Lived by the stripes he wound that wounded thee. From death's dread sting, thy servants free, that we may live and sing to thee. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. As is our custom at Easter, we have the Easter Proclamation. Rejoice, heavenly powers, sing choirs of angels, exalt all creation around God's throne. Jesus Christ, our King, is risen. Sound the trumpet of salvation. Rejoice, O earth, in shining splendor, Radiant in the brightness of your King, Christ has conquered, glory fills you, Darkness vanishes forever. Rejoice, O Mother Church, exalt in glory, The risen Savior shines upon you. Let this place resound with joy, Echoing the mighty song of all God's people. For Christ has ransomed us with his blood, And paid for us the price of Adam's sin. To our eternal Father, This is our Passover feast, But breaking the chains of death, He rose triumphant from the grave. His blood now consecrates the homes of all believers. As when you saved our fathers and freed the people of Israel from their slavery, leading them dry shod through the desert. Today Christians everywhere are freed from sin and all defilement. Restored to grace, they grow together in holiness. Father, how wonderful your care for us. How boundless your merciful love. To ransom a slave, you gave away your son. O oh, happy fault, O oh, necessary sin of Adam, which gained for us so great a Redeemer. The power of this day dispels all evil, washes guilt away, restores lost innocence, brings mourners joy. Day truly blessed, when heaven is wedded to earth, and mankind is reconciled with God. Therefore, Heavenly Father, receive our sacrifice of praise, your church's solemn offering. Accept this Easter candle. May it always dispel the darkness of night. May the morning star which never sets find this flame still burning. Christ, that morning star who came back from the dead and shed his peaceful light on all mankind, your Son, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Our entrance antiphon this morning comes from Psalm 138. 
The Lord says, I have risen. I am with you once more. You placed your hand on me to keep me safe. How great is the depth of your wisdom. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Well, as we do every week, let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The love of our Lord Jesus Christ, the grace of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us now call to mind our sins before we celebrate our sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you have come back into our lives, our living Savior. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have conquered the darkness of sin and death. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the light unto our lives. Lord, have mercy. In Adam's sin, the gates of heaven were closed, and we were made one with God and heirs to the kingdom of heaven in our baptism. We are thankful for our redemption. May Almighty God forgive you your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax hominibus, bone voluntatis, ladamus te, Benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gratias agimus tibi, propter maniam gloriam tuam, domine Deus rex celestis, Deus pater omnipotens, domine fili unigenite, Jesu Christe, Domine Deus, Agnus Dei, Filius Patris, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis, qui tolis peccata mundi, suscipe de precazione nostra, Qui sedes ad exteram patris, miserere nobis, quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Jesu Christe, cum sancto spiritu, in gloria Dei patris. Amen. Let us now begin the liturgy of the word. We pray today on this Easter morning for the life that never again shall see darkness. God, our Father, creator of all, today is the day of Easter joy, the morning on which the Lord appeared to men who had begun to lose hope. He opened their eyes to what the scriptures foretold, that first he must die, and then he would rise and ascend to his Father in glorious presence. May the risen Lord breathe on our minds and open our eyes, that we may know him in the breaking of the bread and follow him in his risen life. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. In this speech of Peter, Luke wants to bring out the basic message of the early church, that is, the Lord's rejection and the apostles' witness to the Christ event. Luke writes, Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus the Nazarene with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and of the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
A responsorial psalm from Psalm 118. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Join me. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give mercy to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Our first reading today proclaims the living Christ, his life, death, and resurrection. This second reading tells us about the implications of all this. Listen now to these words from Paul. Brothers and sisters, as followers who were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. This is the word of the Lord. At the festival of the Passover, the Pasch, when the Paschal Lamb was sacrificed, the Jews, after carefully banishing the old leaven, only ate unleavened bread. Now Christ, our Paschal Lamb, at the time of his passion, was sacrificed once and for all. This is the Christian Passover, which is never ending. We are called to banish from our lives all sin and evil, putting in its place the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Forth to the paschal victim, Christians, bring your sacrifice of praise. A lamb redeems the sheep, and Christ the sinless one reconciles sinners to the Father. Together death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The prince of life who died now lives and reigns. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw as you went on your way. I saw the tomb of Christ where the living one was laid. I saw his glory as he rose again, the shroud and napkin resting and angels attesting. Yes, Christ, my hope is arisen, and he goes before you into Galilee. We know that Christ indeed has risen from the grave. Hail our King of victory. Have mercy, Lord, and save us. Amen. Alleluia. Let us now prepare for the reading of the gospel. Alleluia. 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 Join me. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed. Let us then feast with joy in the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be in my heart and on my lips, and I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. A reading of the holy gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and told Peter and the other disciples whom Jesus loved. They have taken the Lord from the tomb, she said. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. Bending down, he saw the burial clothes there, but he did not go in. 
When Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes and the cloth that had covered his head, lying not with the other cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the disciple who had arrived at the tomb first also went in, and he saw it and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned home. But Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping. As she wept, she bent over the tomb and saw two angels there, sitting one at the head and another at the feet of where Jesus had been laid. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She responded, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but didn't know who he was. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? For whom are you looking? Thinking was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She started abruptly and said to him, Rabboni, which is my master. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary of Magdala went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and what he had told her. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It comes as somewhat difficult for us to understand how the disciples were not aware of what Jesus had prophesied. That he would raise himself, that he would be raised from the dead. They were despairing at his death, and they thought their lives as they knew it while he was living was over. Two thousand years later, we have the, the glory and the wisdom of hindsight to look back and see all the stories that had been written. And we understand that Jesus was prophesied to tell that he, had, he was going to rise from the dead, and that he suffered and died for our sins. This is truly our Passover feast, where we are rescued from sin and death, where we no longer need fear death, for we know that at the moment of our death, we will enter into eternal life. And so this is the message for all of us to keep in mind, when those around us that we love are called to their eternal rest. For they are entering into the glory of eternal life. They will meet Jesus face to face and share life with him in all eternity. This is our faith. This is the mystery and the glory of our religion. We must cling to this hope, the Easter hope that gives us cause to rejoice that Jesus Christ is risen, and as he rose from the dead, so also will we. God love you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, let us join together now and proclaim our belief. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, suffering, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of the mingling of this water and wine, may we share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice that we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. wash my hands among the innocent and accomplish your altar, O Lord, that I might hear the voice of your praise and tell of all your wondrous works. I've loved, O Lord, the beauty of your house, the place where your glory dwells. Take not away my soul, O God, with the wicked, or my life with men of blood, in whose hands are iniquities and filled with gifts. But as for me, I have walked in my innocence. Redeem me and have mercy on me. In the churches I will bless you, O Lord. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my guilt. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and that of all his church. Lord God, with Easter joy, we offer you the holy sacrifice by which your church is reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. We praise you with greater joy than ever on this Easter day, in this Easter season, when Christ became our Paschal sacrifice. He is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death, and rising, he restored our life. And so, with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Father, we acknowledge your greatness. All your actions show your wisdom and love. You formed us in your own likeness and set us over the whole world to serve you, our creator, and rule over all creatures. Even when we disobeyed you and lost your friendship, you did not abandon us to the power of death, but helped us all to seek and find you. Again and again, you offered us a covenant and through the prophets taught us to hope for salvation. Father, you so loved the world that in the fullness of time, you sent your only son to be our savior. He was conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, a man like us in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to those in sorrow joy. In fulfillment of your will he gave himself up to death, but by rising from the dead he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves but for him, he sent the Holy Spirit from your Father as his first gift to those who believe to complete his work on earth and bring us the fullness of grace. Father, may this Holy Spirit sanctify these offerings. Let them become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ as we celebrate the great mystery which he left us as an everlasting covenant. He always loved those who were his own in the world. When the time came for him to be glorified by you, his Heavenly Father, he showed the depth of his love. 
While they were at supper, he took bread into his sacred hands, and looking up to you, his heavenly Father, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup filled with wine. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, we now celebrate this memorial of our redemption, recalling Christ's death, his descent among the dead, his resurrection, and his ascension to your right hand. And looking forward to his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the acceptable sacrifice which brings salvation to the whole world. Lord, look upon this sacrifice you have given to your church, and by your Holy Spirit gather all who share this one bread and one cup into the one mystical body of Christ, a living sacrifice of praise. Lord, remember those for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially our religious leaders and patriarchs. Bernd, our patriarch in Utrecht, Francis, Bishop of Rome, for me, your humble servant, and for bishops and clergy everywhere. Remember those who take part in this offering, those here present, and all your people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember those who have died in the peace of Christ, and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. Father, in your mercy, grant also to us, your children, to enter into our heavenly inheritance in the company of the Virgin Mary and your apostles and saints. Then in your kingdom, freed from the corruption of sin and death, we shall sing your glory with every creature through Christ our Lord, to whom you give us everything that is good. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let's join together now and pray to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and shelter from all needless anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of our church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with us always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to those who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your Holy Spirit, <clears throat> by your holy body and blood, keep me free from all my sins and every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted with you from you. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. 
Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi, Custodiar Anima, Meam, in Vitam Eternam, Amen. Sanguis Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi, Custodiar Anima, Meam, in Vitam Eternam, Amen.
Christ, as we come our Paschal sacrifice, let us feast with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Let us pray. Father of love, watch over your church and bring us to the glory of the resurrection promised by this holy Easter sacrament. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads now and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you on this solemn feast of Easter, and may he protect you against all sin. Through the resurrection of his Son, God has granted us healing. May he fulfill his promises and bless you with eternal life. You have mourned for Christ's sufferings. Now you celebrate the joy of his resurrection. May you come with joy to the feast which lasts forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharistic celebration has ended today. Let us go forth from this place to serve the Lord and one another. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Our closing hymn today is Alleluia number one. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. Jesus is Lord of all the earth. He is the King of creation. Spread the good news o'er all the earth. Jesus has died and is risen. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. God love you all and thank you for being with us today.